In this video segment, we'll discuss creating charts from external data using SQCPAC. As we've already learned, SQCPAC provides a mechanism for you to collect, maintain, and analyze data within the program in segments called data groups. But how do we track and analyze data that's being collected outside of the program? The ability to chart external data, which might be familiar to anyone who's used our Chart Runner program in the past, is new to SQCPAC. Whether you're collecting data in Excel spreadsheets, Microsoft Access or SQL Server databases, from your ERP system, or even business data from your CRM solution, SQCPAC now has the ability to quickly connect to it and draw charts from data residing in these databases. You create and save the chart, and each time you view it, you'll see the most recent data out there. Let's take a look. From within your SQCPAC database in the Charts section, click New Chart. The three-step chart wizard will walk you through defining your data. First, choose a type of chart from our list of all options categorized by chart type. In this example, we'll create an individual chart. Then, on step two, direct SQCPAC to your data source. You will first decide which type of data we plan to reach to. In this example, we'll use a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, but as you can see, there are many other options for connecting to external data. Then, browse to your data source location. At this point, you can move on to step three. In step three, You'll tell SQCPAC how to treat each column of your data. For each column, you decide if it's an identifier, something used to describe the data point and can be filtered upon later, or if it's a measurement characteristic, the actual data value you plan to chart. In this example, date, time, operator, and shift are all identifiers, and weight is our measurement characteristic. Further, if you'd like to filter your data by one of your identifiers, you can do that here as well, really narrowing in on the data that addresses your question at hand. Hit Finish, and you've created a chart. Save this chart to your charts list so that you can view it again later. Now let's see what happens when new data is added to your external data source. Now, the next time you open your chart, or in this case, refresh the already opened chart, the new data value is there, really telling you a real-time story of the process that you're trying to monitor. And that's all it takes to create charts from external data in SQCPAC. 